Hello everybody and welcome to Investigator. This is a Russian-made atmospheric horror game that was released on Steam about two weeks ago now. And it looks very interesting, it looks very unique. The gist of it is it's 2050 and I'm going to be playing as an ex-detective or an ex-private investigator who is just merely trying to survive on a planet that is ravaged with natural disasters. The weather is out of control. I don't know if this has got something to do with global warming and climate change. It seems like it does, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out during this playthrough. But it seems like this game should be a hit. And it's not, it seems. Very few people know about this game. It's like it's flown under the radar. So let's give Investigator a go, shall we? And uh, let me know what you think. Oh, okay. Oh, right, there's 10 levels, it seems. Okay, well, this isn't going to be a single video thing. I guess if you enjoy this, let me know. And if I get enough support, I might turn this into a series. All right, uh, don't judge a book by its cover. The loading screen might not look great, but the screenshots and the video clips that I have seen do look fantastic. That's more like it. Wow. Okay, so seems like we're in the middle of monsoon season, wherever we are. Russia, maybe? Well, don't stand on the tracks, you muppet. There's a train coming! <laughs> if you get run over, it's going to be a very, very short video. That's it. Step back. There we go. Out of harm's way. That wasn't a suicide attempt, thank God. Alright. Are we... Yep, looks like we're getting on. Yeah, the game looks good so far. Right, where's this going? Somewhere with better weather, hopefully. Is that a tornado? Bloody hell. <laughs> Can't this go any faster? I Holy shit! Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, consider me sold. I definitely want to continue this game. <laughs> Was I meant to have survived that? What's going on now? Is that like... Is that netting? Ropes? Oh. Are we on a boat? Like a rowboat? Doesn't look too much better here. Wherever here is. So I think quite uniquely, the main enemy in this game is going to be the weather itself, and possibly that's where we're going to get the horrific elements as well. Maybe this was released the same time as some other bigger game was, and it, it kind of got left in its wake. Maybe that's why not many people know about it. I mean, everything that I've seen, the concept, the description, the videos, the screenshots that I've seen make this look fantastic, and what I'm seeing right now looks great. But maybe there's some underlying issue that I haven't been exposed to yet. I do have to admit, I did load the game up, I think, five, maybe six times before it actually stopped crashing and allowed me to get to the menu, so maybe this game isn't technically sound, maybe it's very unstable. But what I'm seeing right now, I mean, it's silky smooth. Year 2050. <laughs> Hopefully you can read that. Or understand Russian. One of the two. Меня зовут Том. В старом мире я частный детектив, но в новом я обычный странник, который скитается от дома к дому в поисках еды и ночлега. Недавно я набрел на заброшенный блокпост военных и нашел там карту, на которой отмечен некий бункер выживших под кодовым названием Д-7. С каждым днем становится холоднее, и единственная надежда выжить – это бункер. Ничего не остается, как направиться туда. Okay, so we're heading to a bunker, U-7. All right. Так, нужно найти место, где я смогу немного отдохнуть и согреться. Cool. Чтобы продолжить свой путь. Wow. All right, so uh, let's find some cover. Let's see. So it's what, half four in the rain. Is that C plus ten? Is that the temperature? Отлично. What? Теперь я еще и промок. Oh, bloody rogue waves. Если я буду долго находиться на улице, я могу замерзнуть. Well, okay, let's get inside then. I don't like the idea of freezing to death. Don't know about you guys. Uh, is that a door? Please tell me that's a door. 
It is, okay. Oh, it's telling me the controls as well. Good, good, good. Because uh, I did have a look at the controls before I started, and it just told me if I wanted to use a keyboard or a controller. It didn't actually tell me what the buttons were. Let's see, can we... Okay, there's jumping. We can crouch with C. We can zoom in, apparently, with uh, right click. Cool. There's a gnome around there for some reason. Tropical fish? Like a zebrafish or some variant? I don't know. Right. So we're out of the rain. <laughs> Doesn't look like a bunker, though, to be honest. Right, can we do anything here? Uh, oh, hang on. Пустые клетки для лобстеров. Ничего интересного. Ah, nothing to, uh, nothing to eat then, I'm afraid. Look at this fish, though. Holy shit, that's huge. Судя по всему, здесь водится крупная рыба. С удовольствием бы порыбачил. Just probably not the time right now, is it? Honestly. Okay, so do I like strip off or something? Oh, I can actually see my feet, so that's a nice little detail. I always like that. Похоже, эта рыба сгнила. Ну и запах. Ну и запах. I think I heard that in Stalker a few times, but I don't know what it means. For some reason, we we're not uh, we're not given subtitles for that one. Okay, all right. So, presumably, we don't stay here. We just have to keep going. Find somewhere with a fire, some food, some drink, place to sleep. It does look bloody good though. Just look, just look at the pitter patter of rain on this wood. That's absolutely stunning. There you go. Better view. The lighting. Everything about this looks great! I've never heard of the studio who made this, so... Uh, maybe this is a first game for them? If so, they've done very well. Right, so... Is that another gnome? Ah, oh. What's this? Who's that? Or maybe that was me. I don't know. Is that the same guy we just saw? It might be. And that guy is us. That's Tom. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> we've got two credit sequences already. Brilliant. Fucking hell. I've got to say, I'm... I'm very impressed. Just look at this! This is almost photorealistic. Providing you don't look at the details for too long, like those branches and anything, this looks bloody brilliant! Right. So... I mean, there's a fire up there to keep warm. Do we... do we need to do that? We seem to be soaked to the bone, or at least we were a moment ago. Until that bird took off. Can we, like... Ah! Brilliant! Don't turn into a zombie. Okay, we've warmed up a little bit. That's... that's gotta be good, right? Okay. Right, let's see if we can find somewhere to, to stay for the night. I don't know. I guess we, we're looking for Bunker U7, aren't we? Yeah, I cannot sleep here. No, that's not a very good idea, is it? Uh, what's this? Is that a tent? Nothing's in the tent? What? Yes, there is! What is with the gnomes? You need to go farther. Okay, but seriously, what is with the gnomes? Someone's been like setting them up for you, it seems. Right, I, I shouldn't linger in the rain. I There might be a genuine risk of freezing to death, so... There we go, there we go. That looks like it's got a, a nice roof, that building. The door's gonna be locked or jammed or something, isn't it? Yeah, ah! Yeah. It's stuck! Okay, there's another building over here. And a tractor with a, a little bit of a roof. That I'm examining. I thought for a moment I was going to drive it, but no, apparently not. Right. Uh, let's see. Can we go in? Oh, no, invisible barriers. No, oh, you're going to get me killed. How do we get into the building then? Oh, I guess there. Well, I guess we can't. Never mind. Uh, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. So I'm assuming this takes place somewhere in or around the outskirts of Russia. But I'm not sure. It's a big country. What was that? It was a bit weird. It's like something flapping in the wind. Uh, this house is submerged. Is this like a swamp or something? Kind of looks like it might be. There's some light. There's some light and there's... There's also a very green greenhouse. Let's take a look at this. I don't know. Perhaps I can stay here. Wouldn't take too much for the glass to smash in weather like this, though. Really? There's another little detail. This game has like a physics engine for the foliage and the bushes and shit. Holy shit, what? This game's fucking brilliant! At least so far. That was brilliant! I, I, I assume that was some sort of uh, pre-planned event and everything, but it still looked really cool. Right. Let's see if we can get through this fence. So... Can we jump over the fence? No, we can't climb over. Bloody hell, it's getting worse. Can we squeeze in? Come on, jump over. No, I can't do that. Uh, must be a way in around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Okay. And look at the cloth physics. That's great. I, I like this. This is um, graphically very impressive. Ah, here we go. Come on. Doors locked, no one seems to be home. Well, it looks like a pretty sturdy house. It hasn't sunk. That's a good start. Can we go in through the window or something? No. Oh, God damn it, hang on. What about if we go around? Can we go around? I don't think we can, you know. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, what about in here? Yeah, <laughs> in the outhouse. And a, another gnome. What? is going on with the gnomes. They're the horrific element, aren't they? It's not the weather, it's the gnomes that just turn up in strange places. Alright, okay, let's move on. Perhaps this isn't the way we're meant to go. Perhaps there's something up ahead. Okay, we've got another building. Fingers crossed, this one's gonna be open and available. There's a car, don't know if that works. Oh, it works, bloody hell. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, so what we got in here? Ah, we got a lantern. Um, can we actually pick these up or anything? There was one at the beginning. Oh, what was this? What am I doing? What am I using? Oh, I see. Nothing useful. Lots of lanterns, actually. Okay. Nothing in there. Is there someone here already? That sleeping bag has a bit of a lump, you know? I don't know, let's use it. We can use it, okay. Yeah, the only thing so far that they really need to work on is this loading screen. It's just, it doesn't fit, you know? <laughs> what? 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 Right, what the hell, where am I? Oh, we're on the second level now. Uh, it's midnight, it's foggy, and it's minus 10 degrees Celsius, I guess. That seems to be the temperature. How did we end up in here? Did somebody drag my sleeping bag away or something? Where's the sleeping bag? It's not here. What the hell is going on? TV, help me out. <laughs> Probably not. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Okay, uh, we have a kitchen. Anything to eat? Eating and drinking seems to be quite a vital thing in this game. What is that? Right, anything? Okay. Okay, it seems that for most of the things you do examine, there is some Russian subtitles for you. Or some English subtitles for the Russian, I should say. That's pretty cool. Of course. It's probably the front door. In here? Mm, can't seem to get this one open for some reason. This door's been completely removed. What is that? <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> this is a great start to the game. Oh, hello. Um. Hi? Hello? Do <laughs> Fuck. Ing. Hell. <laughs> okay. Oh, he just disappeared? Is there something supernatural paranormal going on here? Possibly. Maybe that's how I ended up in this house in the first place. Oh boy, he's freaking out a little bit. Understandable. Very understandable. Right, let's let's take a look, shall we? I'm very curious right now. <laughs> oh, come on. What was that? What was that? Oh, have the light's gone out. Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. I like this. I like this quite a lot. So the horrific elements are not to do with the gnomes. They're not really to do with the weather either. There's something else entirely going on here. Ah, oh, come on. What? Where am I now? I'm just teleporting all over the place. Am I am I dreaming? I did go to sleep, and then the weirdness started to occur. It's possible, I suppose. Oh, what? What is with the power problems? I mean, the weather outside, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. Everything's probably quite unstable. But does it have to be unstable right when I'm next to it? Okay. Uh, are we hopping over this? Yes. Okay. No? Hang on, maybe if we do it in stages. There we are, there we are. Uh, this is so bizarre. I don't think I've got a, a flashlight or a lantern or anything like that. No matches, no lighter. No weapons. I don't know if this game is classified as a... Fucking hell. As a walking simulator or anything like that. Oh, oh my god! What the fuck? I must be dreaming, right? Spiders are not that big. Not even in 2050, surely. And, you know, not unless there's, you know, climate change, uh, natural disasters, and some sort of radioactivity or something, I don't know, that's creating mutations. Hang on, what's this? Oh, it's this. Oh, it's a flashlight. Oh, a broken one. <laughs> Thank you for that. I didn't realize that was sarcastic until you put it in brackets. Okay. Um, I would assume it'd be F or L if it was uh, the flashlight button, but it's it's not working. And could that not happen when I'm walking across a puddle, please? Bloody hell. So we're looking for either a, a good flashlight or some batteries or some way to fix this one. And some bug spray, possibly? Even the shadow looks detailed. This game is impressive. It really is. Okay, so what we got in here? Loads and loads of stuff. What, is anything useful here? Come on. F. F? What does F do? Do you mean left click? Okay, I think it means left click, but it's trying, it's trying to make me use the drawers. I didn't actually realize we could do this. Oh, what's that? What is that? It is... Uh, worst. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. We can't pick it up. Anything? Oh, oh! Broken flashlight, dead batteries. <laughs> yeah, pockets full of garbage. What's the point? Oh, there we go. That's nice. So we can light lanterns, it seems. Somehow. Not all of them, just some of them. Okay, okay, sure. This appears to be a dead end. There was another way over here, so presumably this is where we need to go. In here, can we open this up? No, okay. What's knocking down all these doors? What was this? Hey! That looks like a weapon to me. Can we go around? No, we can't squeeze through. 
Hey, who the- Is that the guy that disappeared? And he's gone. What a fucking surprise. What's going on here? This is very intriguing. I'm really into this, actually, I've got to say. Okay, let's let's head towards the light. It'll warm us up, if nothing else. Can we read these books, or...? No? There's a face in that one. Weird. Very weird. Alright, got some drawers here. Can we use them? No? It seems that you can only sort of use things in select areas. Can I, like, go prone? I don't think so. It would probably tell me how. <sighs> Does it have to be the exact height of that damn spider that I saw earlier? Oh, I see. So we go over. Ah! Oh, god damn! Let's just go. Let's... Let's go. Ненавижу пауков. I hate sp yeah, I fucking hate spiders as well. Especially ones that size. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that guy again? What's he what's What's going on? Oh, it's the cobwebs. He's protecting his face. I thought it was to do with the guy that seems to be watching my moves back there. Might be related to the uh G-Man or something from Half-Life. It just seems to be monitoring me at the moment. Okay. Surely I could squeeze through this. I mean, how fat am I, honestly? Go sideways. Okay, what's this? Oh, something important. Looks like I might be able to uh, use something there. But not the pipe. Oh, and there's the way out. Again, these bars, they're so far apart. But no, that's not the way to go. What's that down there? Can't use that, okay. What's that mushroom? Oh, cobwebs again, I guess. Is it that that's making the spiders so big? Oh, is it? oh what was that? What was that? I didn't really get a good look at it, honestly. Uh, I'm hoping it's something to do with that over there. Perhaps I, whatever I found can slot in. Oh, Jesus Christ! I... Alright, it's like a cutscene, I think. Okay. That was really cool. I wasn't all that involved, honestly. But, uh, cool. What is going on here? I don't know if I'm dreaming anymore, you know. Right. Ah, it was a valve wheel. Okay. There we are. Can we get the uh, the pipe back? No. Ah, oh, shit. Nicely done. All right, let's keep going. Again, shadowy figures in the distance, just moving out the way. I'm very glad I decided to give this a go. I hope you guys are enjoying it because, actually, you know what? I've seen enough at this point that I can say without a shadow of a doubt, even if everyone dislikes this, I'm still going to continue playing it. Definitely. Under we go. Oh, man. I don't have a pipe to defend myself with this time. Is there another one around here? Are these its eggs? I would assume so. Let's let's refrain from like stepping on them, if possible. Let's go around. Wouldn't want to piss off Mum, would I? Bloody cobwebs all over the place. Kind of annoying because I can't see where I'm going, really. Okay. Uh, this way, maybe. Oh yeah, it goes around to the right here. Alright, okay. I don't know if this is where we're meant to go, but it's the way I'm going. Where is this? This is like an extended basement. And who is that? I think Michael Myers has a Russian brother. 
Or maybe Jason Voorhees, I'm not sure. And he's gone again. What? 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 Might wanna... I... Did I miss like a quick time event or something? Well, don't stand on the tracks, you muppet. There's a train coming! Bloody hell. <laughs> Can't this go any faster? I... Holy shit! Year 2050. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's in the tent? What? Yes, there is! What is with the gnomes? There's another little detail. This game has like a physics engine for the foliage and the bushes and shit. Holy shit! What? This game's fucking brilliant! I don't think we can, you know. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, what, what about in here? Yeah, <laughs> in the outhouse. And a, another gnome. Okay. Oh, have the lights gone out? Oh, oh! <laughs> okay. I like this. I like this quite a lot. Oh, oh my god! What? 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 Might wanna... I... Did I miss like a quick time event or something? I... 